Welcome back to the Bobby Starbucks Show, Coca-Cola Broadcasting, CBC Studio B. And the reason I preface by saying Studio B is we're now joined by Amazing Gregory, the uh, master juggler, magician, and a longtime friend of yours truly. He is hot. He is as hot as it gets. Oh, my goodness. What are you doing to oh, me? I'm just looking over my notes, Robert. That, okay. It's got to be flashy, right? It's, it's going to be magic. It's, it's a big open. Good, that's, wow. that's awesome. Hey, man. Good to see you, Greg. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank so you. So happy to be Thank a part you. of your new venture. From the day, Greg and I go back to Buller High a Theater. Uh, we did The Odd Couple together, oddly enough. And I played Oscar. He played Felix. And 40 years later, the casting is holding. <laughs> I'm Oscar. He's Felix. The slob. Pulls the, off his own show. Mr. Nice. Mr. Uh, cleaned and pressed. Anyway, I am impressed with you. Always have been. Very talented. Uh, career man in magic. Uh, uh, juggler extraordinaire. Uh, what do you have for us today, well, I do Greg? comedy, too. I'm so good at comedy, it isn't even funny. But So how do I get started at this, right? How does a guy, like, did I grow up wanting to be a doctor? Well, Lawyer? I remember there was a guy in my street that got a doctor's bag, he became a doctor. There was another guy that had a little red wagon, he was a fireman. No. Is that what happened No, to no, I sent away f for a magic trick when I was 11 years old. You know, you see it in a little catalog, you send off, two weeks later something comes, and we're gonna roll the dice here at the Bobby Starbucks show, okay? I want you to take this dice, all right? I want you just to heat it up, shake it up for me there. Okay. And this came in the mail at 11 years old. There was a box with six other dice. Do a little close-up of that. Continue. Six other dice right there. Keep it warm. warm. Keep it warm. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I want you to go ahead and just take that, drop it down, slam it down. Bam. Center it. Pull it off. You're not rolling a one today, are you? Snake eyes, baby. You're not rolling a one. Watch. i got to fix this. Try again. Okay. You can do better. Heat it up. Heat it up. Bam. Whoa, now we're talking. Get a close-up of that. That's a six. Can you see the six? Check it out. Nice. Nice. Whoa. Loaded sixes. How'd you so do this it? came in the mail at 11 years old. I read how to do a cool trick like that, and I was hooked. So then it went from there. All right? Nice. Yeah, so, th th you... so that's how you got going. Well, my dad said, show me a trick. Right. I ordered another trick in the mail, and I got my dad involved. It's a card trick, of course. And I'm going to go ahead and let you do the magic. Because my show is the performance is in the assistant. Ah. And it's your show, so you're going to be the assistant okay. that makes the magic happen. I can do that. I want you to can go I ahead and inspect the napkin, if you would. Okay. That's good. Okay, so here's what we're doing. It's TV land, and we got to make it quick, all right? So the cards are different. You're going to select one. Just go ahead and touch one. Any one, any one, any. That one. Good. Let's bring it up to the top. Put it on camera. Robert. Your card. We're going to lose it here, all right? All right. We're going to lose it, and we're going to find it. Check it out. At no time do my hands leave my arms. I'm going to give you the dagger of magic death. I want you to hold that in a horizontal plane there. We're going to blindfold the deck, all right? Okay. Here we go. Check it out. We're going to blindfold the deck. All we do is put it over like so, wrap it around, Nice and tight. I'm going to ask you just to impale it right there. Go ahead. Pick a card. Do you want to take another stab at it? I think the first stab's the best. Rod Stewart, first cut is the deepest. There, ooh. Actually, Cass Stevens. Check it out. Right to hopefully, was that your card? Ooh, not your card. Well, when you stab into the deck, there's a card on top of the knife. <laughs> And there would be a card below the stab. That's it. Queen of Clubs. <laughs> so my dad saw me do a card trick and he nice. said, start doing magic. Very so in good. order to make a living at it, who do you have to entertain when you're 15 years old trying to make 50 bucks at a birthday party? Kids. Kids. So then I figured out how to entertain kids. Well, you got to entertain them with stuff that's real visual. Let's get a high shot here. So what you do is you make things happen. You make things visual and kids love this stuff it's colorful and then they want you to do more than just magic so you got to show them you're not a one-trick pony you got to juggle for the kids they're laughing their parents are happy 
They're paying you to come back to the next kid's birthday just a few months later. Well, I found out quickly that kids Bro, thoroughly enjoy. I'm a kid. I'm impressed. You know, being entertained. But if you're going to make a living at entertaining kids, what you got to do is you got to give them a little payoff with some sweet tarts there, Robert. Just go ahead and have any one you want there. Thank you. Thank you. So I got to entertaining kids. And uh, then I said, well, wait a minute. I want to make myself unique. There's a lot of magicians in the world. But I wanted to do magic with ordinary, everyday objects. So I didn't have a lot of money at my young age. So in order to invest in fancy magic tricks, I read magic books that taught me how to take something as if today's edition of the Fresno Bee and work a little magic with it. You ready? You're going to have to provide the magic word here in a moment, so I want you to be original. Okay. And here's what we're going to do. Just take any type of liquid. I'm going to use water. It could be orange juice, iced tea. And we're just going to go ahead and pour it in. Tell me when to stop. When to stop. Okay. Every <laughs> last drop. Good. So if you'll see, the water is indeed somehow held in an even plane of Nowhereville. <sighs> Now, I know what you're thinking right now. This guy's good looking. <laughs> but where did the water go? All right, so you're, there's always a few septics, excuse me, skeptics in every crowd that want me to fan through the pages and see if there's any moisture, any type of uh, sign that the water this is, is actually happening, by the way. here in the paper. So now the magic word, Robert, it wouldn't be effective if you didn't bring the water back. So I'm going to ask you just to go ahead and provide that magic word. Abracadabra. That's original. <laughs> How about hanky-panky? That's French for hocus-pocus. Okay. Check it out. Unbelievable. So it was that type of thing at a young age that just got me excited. Who wouldn't get excited about this? I'm doing tricks. I'm entertaining my family and friends, and I'm getting paid money as a kid. Instead of mowing lawns and washing cars in the neighborhood, I'm doing all the neighborhood kid birthday parties. It's amazing. So that's where. It... That's amazing, Greg. <laughs> uh, amazing, Gregory. Amazing, Greg. It, amazing, comma, Greg. It only gets more amazing. It's amazing. You ready? Yes. All right. So yes. So then you know, what if you could just learn to do tricks with ordinary everyday objects, like a piece of rope? Just go ahead and pull on it. Okay. Solid piece of rope. Just make sure it's solid. Now, this is something I read in a book. What does a piece of rope cost, a young kid? About nothing, right? I was a Boy Scout, and they showed me how to make what's called a bow tie knot. Okay. And that quickly transforms itself into what kind of knot, Robert? Slip knot. Well, <laughs> you know better than most, it is indeed a slip not <laughs> it slips right off the rope bravo i mean just that simple now what if i could tie another knot this is called the world's slowest knot i know it's tv and tv land so let's speed up the world's slowest knot because it quickly transforms itself into the world's most confusing knot <laughs> a little convoluted no the book wasn't done it said just continue on as a good Cub Scout would, to transform the world's most confusing knot into the disappearing knot. Into not a knot at all. Not a knot at all. <laughs> When's a knot, not a knot. Not, and it's not. When it's not. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, so you impressive. see, I just got excited about it. So then after well, I grew I'm up excited. and I wanted to continue to make a living at it, you know, you were off making a living down in Los Angeles doing your thing. Went to Hawaii, made it all happen at the Pro Bowl. Different things you were doing. I was here doing it in Fresno. Man. But I had to make more money. And the money was in the adult shows. Corporate. Amazing Gregory. Amazing Gregory. What was your name when you were Captain the... Magic. Captain Transformed Magic. Transformed into the Amazing Gregory. Nice. So at a company event, who's the star of the show? The magician that comes in after the dinner banquet? Or the VP of the company that comes up and wants to be involved in the show? So I learned to make them the star of the show. Okay. And this is your show, inaugural show, the Bobby Starbuck show. So I'm ringing your bell. And I'm going to let you just keep the noise moving, okay. the festivity. Just uh -huh. ring the bell. And then what we do is we show that this is, it's a bell, Robert. How hard could it be? Okay. It doesn't ring. You don't work at Walmart? <laughs> it just had a little burn. It is off. I may be just after this keep show. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Grab a hold. Okay. Keep right. it moving. Keep the sound 
You don't get out much. I don't get you out gotta much. You got to get out of Studio B every once in a while. Yeah. So you see, they'll pay you to make fun of their employees. Nice. And then it just works. Yes. So, I mean, it's been really, really uh, fun and uh, effective. And I've got a little something that'll show you just how visual magic can be. Do you see anything, Robert? Not anything? anymore, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, people tend to be true skeptics. So I'm going to show you that there is indeed nothing. Nothing here. Nothing here. <laughs> nothing here. I like you're not wearing long sleeves. Well, there's nothing up your sleeve. Watch, and this will prove it because you're going to do the magic. Oh. Say, uh oh. The magic. Uh, Say, the magic. The magic. <laughs> three scarves have appeared in the once empty bag. If you'll just reach in and pull out one of the three scarves, one of the three, they're brightly colored. A little hard to miss, Robert. There aren't any. Work with it. All right, let me help you here. I'll just take the first one out. I'll hold the pink one here. Just this Robert, is happening, by the this way. This is your show. Make it happen. All right, let's keep it moving here. All right, the last one's the purple one. I'm going to set it right on top. The camera can see. There's the purple one is right there. there. Okay. All right. So if you will, just reach in, pull it out. All right, it's only an 11-minute segment here, Robert. I'm going to speed it up. Tell you what, I'm going to give you a chance to redeem yourself. Check it out. Drop it in, drop it in, say razzmatazz. Razzmatazz. Say it like you mean it. Razzmatazz. <laughs> Reach inside. Check it out, though. All tied together. See that Cub Scout, Boy Scout, Knowledge of Knots, transformed itself once again. The amazing Gregory. The amazing Gregory. <laughs> I'm amazed at Gregory. <laughs> I love it. And I like tricks of danger. Yes. You feel like doing a little dangerous magic here? Yes. All right. Well, no. I, no I, I'm it, not it, into danger. I don't want danger. <laughs> we don't have pretty girls, so we're going to have to use Bobby Starbuck. All right. Let's wow. just pull out the mini guillotine. Here we go. And this is my little trick mechanism right here. I'm going to pull that pin out, and you can see the blade right on the top. Can we get a little lower shot of this? Excellent. Good. I'm going to move it over. So we can see it just fine. Now, Bobby, I'm going to have you place your index finger of your left hand right in the hole. Good. Don't get nervous. Keep it there, buddy. And on three, we're going to... Ah! Wait a minute. Does it move? Pull your finger out. No harm, no foul. I didn't want to count to three because you might, you might have flinched. It just went right on through. So that's like sawing a lady in half. Yep. Right here up close and personal in the Bobby Starbucks show. How many... Uh, Balls can you juggle, Greg? Five. Five. Yeah. And can you do seven if I jump in the air while I'm juggling? Five. Can you <laughs> can you do uh, pens and the whole bit? And pens, juggling fire, knives. Well, you know, it's not about me today. I'm so excited to be here, good friend. Forty Pleasure. years and counting. Yes. But we're in TV land, so I think as we close my segment, we got to get those people out in TV land to read the sign. Can you hear it? Are you get, can you read the sign? Applause. Well, let's go here. Come on now. Let's go, little. Read this. Come on. Let's go. More. Hello. Louder. Yay. Louder. Amazing Gregory. All right. Bobby Starbucks show. Thanks. See you again sometime. Amazing Gregory. We will be back with more Bobby Starbuck on Coca-Cola Broadcasting right after this. But it's not going to beat Amazing Gregory. Just call me Bobby Starbucks. I may be bruised, but I ain't 